Oh, how are you? Good. Come on in. I'm having some tea. Are you by yourself? Yeah, my mom is out. Come, come, come. Shame on you, Sybil. You said that nobody else was here. Oh, come on, as if Kubra was a stranger? Don't be ridiculous, Daria. Whatever, Sybil. Enjoy yourselves, I'm leaving. Daria, have a seat. I'll go ahead and leave if you don't want to talk uh, to me. Uh, that's enough already. Why are you avoiding each other like children? Sit down, Daria. Everybody needs to get this off their chest. We're gonna solve this right here, right now. This is really getting ridiculous, you know? Pardon me, but what are we solving, Sybil? Doesn't my word count for anything? Listen to me, girl. You don't understand where I'm coming from. I've never done anything for myself before, Daria. For the first time, I'm listening to my heart. And besides, Yigit has really changed. I swear to you that <sighs> he truly loves me a lot. How has he changed, Kubra? Tell me how. How can you believe that this guy really loves you? Why is it so hard for you two to believe that someone could really fall in love with me, huh? Huh? Why is it, Sybil? Am I not worthy enough? We're only saying what we're saying because you deserve so much better than him, Kubra. Huh, that's it, exactly. This isn't about you, honey. It's about Yigit. He isn't capable of falling in love. All right. I guess you're right. But then who can, Sybil? Take you, for example. Didn't you break up with Amir the minute that you found a guy with more money than him? Pull yourself together, Kubra. And besides, what does Amir have to do with Come this? Come on, quit denying it. Do you really think we're that stupid? We've known that there's something between you and Amir. But you didn't even protect the relationship that you had. And what about you, Daria? What can we say about you? You were chasing after Igit. But you didn't even want to fight for him. You said that you didn't want a man who didn't want you, and that was that. So who are you two to be lecturing me about what love is and what it isn't? Stop right there, Miss Kubra. Nobody here is trying to talk about love to you. We're just worried about your well-being. Don't you know us by now? You're right. You two are my best friends. I've listened to everything you've had to say every day up until now. I haven't ever spilled your secrets. And I've never judged either of you two, no matter what you may have done. Now I'm happy for the first time in my life. But both of you have let me down. If this is what you think of love and friendship, then I don't want to know. See you. So, uh, hey, what did you think about Ender, huh? <sighs> it's good for him. He's found a good place to work. And he makes good money, too. Yeah, I hope that I pay him according to his schedule over there. Yeah, we don't get mixed up in those kinds of things anymore. Hmm? We've opened our showroom. Yeah, it's going to make us some good money, so you can just relax, man. Don't worry, brother. I want to believe what you're saying. Hey, look at me. I hope there's nothing between you and Kubra, okay? Jeez, you sneaky little fox. How did you figure it out? Is it that obvious? Uh, wait, why did you get involved with that girl? Don't tell me that you're in love with her now, Yigit. Are you trying to get back at Sadullah by getting close to his daughter? <sighs> to be honest, I'm not interested in the father. I'm interested in the girl. You know, she's a really beautiful girl. But love is a very big word. It's not like I'm going to marry her just because we've been dating for a few days. Here you go. Mm, thanks. Okay. Mm. Hold on, are you gonna model plus sizes from now on? Mm. You're really packing those away. <laughs> Girl, what can I do? I can't be bothered with meat or eggs right now. These were in the kitchen. Cooper did say some hard things, so you're suffering from an emotional eating disorder now. She was right, wasn't she? 
Forget the new guys. They've caused us nothing but trouble since they moved here. Even Kubra has been affected. Since they moved here, we've been fighting like alley cats for three months straight because two guys are new in the neighborhood. Don't include me in that equation because I have nothing to do with it. Oh, so you really are hanging out with the rich and elite class. What can I say? You can find someone from the TV series. There must be very handsome guys there. And where would I meet one? I'm a girl in the harem. There aren't any men there. <laughs> <laughs> and there's only one sultan, but I can only see him once every five episodes or something. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we'll be proven wrong. Maybe you get as sincere about his relationship with Kubra. I really don't think so, though. Hmm. I mean, if the girl wasn't actually pretty, I'd think you were up to something, you know? But she's really beautiful, man. I have to admit that it's true. Thank you. You know, it would make me really happy, <laughs> you know, if you found a stable relationship with someone who can handle you and keep you on your feet. What else could I ask for? Well, her father would need to die first. Cooper would be good for you. Yeah? So what about your job search? Are you making any progress, or do I need to haul you over there by myself? On Monday, I'm going to take my internship certificate. I'll apply, and hopefully they'll offer me a position, you know? But they might ask for me to continue interning. We'll have to say. Well, don't sell yourself for cheap. Things are a little tight right now. Yeah. So what do you think of my offer? Well, like I told you, I owe you everything, so... <laughs> How could I possibly say no to you, sir? Well, in that case, congratulations. I appreciate that. Come with me, then. Would you look at him? What a show-off. I shouldn't have listened to everybody and just taken him to court to ruin him for everything he's done to me. Dad, but why are you obsessing like this again out of nowhere? Everyone is going around minding their own business. These incidents are over and in the past... Nothing is over. His sole purpose seems to be to bring me trouble and cause mischief. Didn't I tell you not to defend that shameless prick? There are things about him that you don't know. And even if you did know, you wouldn't even understand. Turn your head away the minute that you see him. Don't you even look into that prick's eyes. Do you understand? I have to leave right now. <laughs> 